guys. Got a fish. I'm catching some today on a few different baits. I'm trying to make a couple videos for y'all. I'm gonna pick him up. He's not that big. He thinks he is. Yeah, he's bigger than I think he was. I figured he was about six inches, eight inches, but I think he's probably, in, I think he's probably eight and seven eighths. Yeah, he's probably, he's probably in the nine inch area. Don't y'all think so? All right, on the bug. This is uh, plum crazy. <laughs> yeah, you know, you do a little song for wipeout, right? I don't have something for, <laughs> I don't have something for plum crazy. But let's see if we can catch a few fish on this bug today. Right, guys, next cast. Now, I'm gonna tell you something, guys. The fishing's been tough today. I've been throwing a big bait and catching a few, and I thought I'm gonna have to switch to. He's a baby now. That is about seven and a half. I'm gonna have to switch to a smaller bait to get bit. Now I got a 132nd ounce head on this one. It's one of the heads that Jody gave me. And I, I tell you what I'm gonna do. I've got a 160th on this one. Yeah, I'm gonna stop and put a bug on this one. All right, guys. I put that bug on this little hook like I told you I was going to do. When this little head, his head lays, weighs 1 60th. All right? It's a two-pound test, so I got to watch it. And uh, this is that little nasty hook. It's got a little nasty hook in it. Uh, I told you I bent it out. So, and I have, I've had no trouble. I've, Jody said, yeah, be careful. You can mess some bites with it. But I've, I've hooked every bite so far. That's a nice fish, guys. I don't have my box with me, but I'm going to say he's, if he's not 10 inches, he's trying to be, isn't he? There's what got you in trouble, big boy. That's a good eater, isn't it? I turned around through the other way, guys. Cut, cut one other side. There's crappy roaming here. I don't know if I mentioned this. I'm in the back of a creek. I'm cleaning the back of a crove here. And you can go a little further, probably. But uh, the crappy are chasing Shad. He's just a baby. All right. Come here. Once I get in the boat, I'm like, they're chasing shad around here. I actually seen fish break here a couple times. I think some of them were bass and some of them could have been crappy. I've seen crappy, uh, I've seen schools of shad come through on my live scope and I've seen fish behind them going through them. I know some of them are bass, but I know a lot of them are crappy because I have cast to them and caught them. So that's what I'm doing. And it's a few stumps here and a little bit of brush scattered here the owners have put around. So there's trees in the water here. I'm checking the docks. I'm gonna go ahead in a minute and we'll go check some docks. Hey guys, found another one. Coming on. I saw oh, he ain't very big either. And I find any big fish today, but look, I'm not complaining. You know, when you got a nasty day and the bite's tough, you take what you can get, right? We all like to catch big ones, but he ain't no big one. <laughs> we all like to catch big ones, but sometimes it just don't happen. I caught some nice ones last week. I caught quite a few that was from 12 to 14, but I ain't done it. I ain't done it today. All right, here he comes. Uh, he might be a little bit bigger. Nah. <laughs> the next cast, I'm catching a few guys at every cast, but uh, if that little bug will catch fish, and it'll catch nice fish. I've caught some nice fish on it. I've caught 12, 13, 13 and a half fish on it. Maybe bigger. So I'm think, trying to think what I caught. the. I caught a 14 and a half last Friday. I'm trying to think what I caught him on. But, uh, I'll call him on a willow tail. All right, guys, next cast. Bam, about three or four casts in a row. Like I said, it's a little piece of brush right here. I'm only in eight foot of water. Like I said, I see shad everywhere. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a live scope shot of these shad here. I'm gonna show y'all. The shad are just roaming here. He done turned my bug around. So it's sideways, I think. It looks sideways to y'all. Now I'm on the same bug. I get asked that question all the time. How long? How many fish can you catch with them? I'm on the same one, guys. I don't know how many I've caught. I haven't been counting them. I've caught because I've been using another vi other video too. I'm making. I got three videos going here at one time, guys. I'm switching back and forth on baits. I'm casting around here with the bait for a little bit, and I, and I switch to cast the other one. I tell you all that all the time. I said, don't get stuck on the same color or the same style bait. See, I got different baits on all these rods, but these two right here got the same. These two six. Uh, this got four pound line. And this got two on it. And they got the little jigs. The other ones I got different baits on. I got a swim bait on one, I'll pitch it once in a while. I got sunshine or the fluke on another one. And that's what I'll do. I'll pitch it around there some. The fish quit them, I'll throw a different color and a different style bait and catch a few more. And look, see the school of shad? That's a fish under them. See that long mark underneath of them there? Two long marks underneath of them. That's a fish. See, they're after that school of shad. 
See, there's shad running around here everywhere. They're 20 feet from me. All right. There you go. You see a fish here on the bottom? These flickers are fish. See these flickers? They're fit. They're, see, they can seem good there now. Fish right in the middle of them, and it's a couple fish are in it. See? Yeah? Look here. Look behind, back here. Those are fish. All right? That's what I'm throwing around here at. See? Look, it's little pieces of trash scattered around. See, there's two fish hanging above it, and I'm going to throw at those. Those are probably crappy. Look at the shad close to them there. All right, guys. I went back to the heavier head. So the wind. The wind's blowing so bad it's pitiful. It's whistling through my uh, live scope tube, the handle. <laughs> it's whistling across it. <laughs> Y'all can hear it or not with the microphone. You probably can't hear it, but it's whistling. I hear it. Hear it whistling. All right. Can't find any bigger ones, guys. He's about seven inches, probably. All right, guys. I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm I'm gonna have fish a dock too with this. Throw it around a little bit. I'm gonna try to get out of this wind and go ahead and fish a dock and. Uh, See if we can catch a couple with this bait, okay? Then we might talk about what we're going to do with this bait. Plum crazy bug. All right, guys. Told you I was going to move to a dock. And I did. Y'all know I'm a dock fisherman, don't you? <laughs> Somebody said the other day. Oh, I think I pick him up. Somebody said the other day, they said, I hear him back get my butt wet right here. <laughs> That's about why I sit all the time. When I tie on the bait and I get my butt wet. But somebody said the other day, they said they hate to fish docks. And they were talking about dock shooting and stuff. It's not easy, guys. But this lake is full of them. That's a nice fish there, guys. He's probably right at 10 inches. He might be, nah, he's between nine and three quarter to 10 and three sixteenths. All right. We don't have to be precise, do we? Okay, let's see if we can come up with another. I'll tell you the hardest part, guys, is this little bug doesn't skip easy. <laughs> All right, and I'm gonna show you. I seen a couple under there. Let me see where I can find them. All right, right there they are. See, it's not that many. Uh, Right there. See? Mm. Probably ain't but six or eight. But that's all it takes, guys. I don't need but one. <laughs> one at a time, anyway, right? <laughs> but if I can get it up under there, that, the, the uh, excuse me, the Tweety Bird skips easy. The Stinger skips easy. Tadpole skips easy. The Bug does not skip easy. Okay? And I actually didn't get it that close to him that time. I didn't this time either, I don't think. And, uh, as I was working the bait, I looked down and seen a fish moving, so I just let it let it sink a little bit. And I seen two or three chasing it, one of them grabbed it. So sometimes they will come and get it. I don't eat, I don't have no idea where it went. Okay. I'm just throwing it back under there. Now I'm trying to watch my live scope a little bit right now. Because I <laughs> I don't know how far this bait's going. Alright. I seen I seen a fish move. Up, oh, had a bump. When I'm, there you go. Oh, I messed him, guys. I messed him. All right, that was my fault. All right, guys, try to get a look at, pull me down. And I could super glue that. That would stop that. But I'll get, try it one more time. You can flip it too, guys. All right. You can flip that little bug. Flip it over. So I give it line so it'll sink. Uh, I had a guy trip the other day, and they wasn't catching anything. And I kept telling them how to do it. Finally, I said, uh, I said, I'll tell you what, oh, I, I see one after it. I said, let, let me fish here for a minute. So, uh, so I fished for a minute, and uh, I, I pitched out a couple times. I, you know, on a guy trip, I fish too, but I don't fish all the time. I try to get a, the customers a chance to catch fish, right? So I'm up here just coaxing them, you know, do this, do that. But I, I wanted to show them because I keep telling them they couldn't, they couldn't even quite understand what I was talking about. So I, I threw it out and I pulled line out like this. And he watched me pull line out. And I stopped. I said, letting this, I just hold my rod like this. Then I finally said, right, right there he is. I set the hook. He said, how do you do that? I said, the fish are eight foot deep. Uh, and was fishing the dock. It's like it right there. I said, the fish are eight foot deep. You, gotta, you, you need to get it down there close to them. They're not going to come up there you know, two foot underneath the surface and go and run from eight foot up and grab it. They just don't do that unless they're really hungry. Crappy are going to stay down. And he said, why? I said, well, they don't do it. Number one reason is the food will come to them. Number two is they're scared to, especially small crappy like that. They're using the dock for protection and hiding. They don't want to leave that dock, no for them to have to. Very seldom they'll come out past those posts. I watch them follow me. Usually when they get to the front of those posts, they'll turn and go back. They don't come out beneath the dock even. 
that's something again you you learn with the live scope guys all right guys i came to the other side of the dock that's how i fish the dock too i don't i track it on the boat the uh the wind's blowing toward me right now that's how you want to keep the boat facing the wind that's why i started on the bottom side so i can control the boat better he tried to swallow it well he's a nine he's in the nine inch area i got him there you go these little things right here are handy I had somebody comment they don't like them because they tear your bait. Yeah, they will tear your bait. But you know what, guys? Just keep buying them. You know what? Y'all know where to get. Y'all know where to buy baits at. So don't don't worry about it, right? Uh, just just buy yourself some more, okay? <laughs> All right, guys. You know what I'm gonna do? Uh, I'm quit. I got. I'm gonna quit trying to be so funny. I got baits everywhere. That went in my shoe. Uh, I'm gonna make this a port of cats. I'm missing that mood. So, <laughs> laugh, I'm laughing at me. I'm laughing at myself. Can y'all laugh at yourself? If you can't laugh at yourself, they say uh, you got problems. If you can't get, do something, when you do something wacky, and you can't stand and go like, oh, what an idiot I was. But anyway, <laughs> all right, I'm going to put it on this little hook. See how little this hook is? It's a size 8. Okay? So it fits it good. All right? This little head's a 132nd. Okay? Say so Jody gave me some and Jesse gave me some. That's what I'm using. That little hook's bent some. <laughs> well, done caught a bunch of fish on it. Uh, I've caught quite a few fish in this video, but I, I'm not going to show you all, all of them. I can't. The video will be too long. I'm going to fish these two docks here, maybe another two down here. Then I'll have to go home, get in the shop, and pour some of these so you all can see me pour them. I think I got some leftover for when I pour these this batch, and I might just do that. That's what I've done this morning on another color because... Uh, it takes a lot of time to uh, to make them scratch, but I, I do like to make them scratch, but I don't want all the leftover. But we'll see, I might just make it like a half a batch or something. So what kind of mood am I get home, guys? <laughs> I run out of time sometimes, and this, this last week I've had so many orders, thank y'all. I've had a lot of orders, and I've been making uh, earth, wipeout, brim colored bugs uh, all week long. I got a big tray up in the bag tonight, <laughs> and I ordered more bags, I ordered a thousand at a time. And uh, I haven't got them yet. I'm waiting for them. I was hoping to get them today. I haven't because I'm out of bag. So <laughs> oh, he's going to jump in the boat. All right, guys, a couple docks down. Oh, he's a baby, too. Like I said, y'all might not even see this one. Y'all don't see him, see? Uh, I'm trying to find a bigger one. He's small. <laughs> I'm trying to find a bigger fish, and he's smaller. And the winds just beat me, y'all can tell. Look, there, look at here's why they're hard to find. There's crappy, look at the school of shad to the left, crappy to the right. There's a pile of crappy right here. It's the most I've seen for a long time. But uh, I think they're all gonna be babies. I think that's why it's so many of them. Usually the bigger crappy stay in smaller groups. I'm gonna say 20 and under. Uh, on this lake, maybe 30 and under. And sometimes I find the really nice crappy groups is, six to ten guys i done caught a bunch <laughs> i showed y'all how many it is and it's more more under the southern dock it's about the most crap i've seen on on this lake i know one other boathouse has this many on it and they're all about the same size too it's fall guys they're schooling up it's the most crappy i've seen all summer on, on and eating the fish but they're all about the same size but you know what the good thing about that is the good thing about catching a bunch of crappy at size, next year and the following year, there's going to be some nice crappy here. Uh, you know, you, most people are keeping the 10, 11 inches and eating them. So by this time of year, a lot of that dot side, you ever thought about that? A lot of those 11, 12 inches have been thinned down a little bit, haven't they? <laughs> Is that after like two weeks of hunting season, people go like, ain't many bucks left. Well, fishing's the same way. People are keeping fish. I hear people talking about, yeah, I kept 20, I kept 30. So. They're getting thinned out a little bit, so it's a lot of those size here that people are throwing back. A lot of throwbacks, okay? But last week I caught on this same stretch of the lake right here last Friday, which this day's Monday, guys. A few days ago, I had about eight that were 12 to 14 inches, so I know they're here. The weather is really messed up. So, you know, it's the way it is. All right, folks, welcome. Hey, and, uh, this time the port of catch was at the end of the video, wasn't it? Well, see, I made the video first, 
And uh, then I can't. Then I, <laughs> I had to come back to the shop and make the shop part. All right. Now, guys, that's uh, eight ounces of milk. No, it's plastisol. I buy it in five gallon buckets, guys. Buy another gallon of time, be wasting my time. Actually, last time I bought, I bought two fives. I'm getting ready to order two more. Uh, but we're going to heat this up to 350. You need to get it right at 350. I like to break it. I like it about 355. And it varies on your microwave. Uh, I'm telling you all this because people ask me these kind of questions sometimes on YouTube. It, it varies on your microwave. I'm going to start off at 245. I burnt one the other day, so I'm not a good one to tell you that. I had like four ounces in a cup. And... I hit the microwave and I went to do something else. I'm usually doing something else at my shop, guys, and pulling baits apart, bagging them or something. So then I come back, open the, open the microwave, it was brown top. It's like, like a burnt muffin. Stink. The only thing you can do is go outside and pour it out somewhere in the trash can. All right, set that heat up and I'll get back with you, okay? All right, guys, sorry that took so long. My temperature gun wasn't reading. I got full with it. I had to run in the house and find a battery. It's a 9 volt. I keep batteries. I'm sure you all do too. Alright, this is plum coloring. And what I do guys is I write a recipe down and I count it. Count them. That's why I got quiet there a little bit. I couldn't talk and count at the same time. But I know some of will say, how do you keep up with uh, the color? That's what I do. And I've said this before. I'm going to say it all the time. <laughs> y'all going to hear me say this a lot. When you buy baits, from one bag to the next, if you buy them all at one time, like this morning, somebody bought four, I think, of each of a couple different colors. They all should be the same, identical, okay? Because they're on the same pour. When you buy baits from, well, let's say Walmart, because everybody knows what Walmart is. Walmart, and you go in there and buy two or three bags, they should all, all be the same. You know why? Because they all came in the same shipment. Now, you could go back and get another order, it'd be different. For y'all that sew and pour with fabric, or, or shingles on the roof. If you're putting shingles on the roof and you buy, just say you buy 35 bundles. Been there, okay? When I order shingles for a roof, this is what I tell them when I have them delivered. I used to do roofing too, guys. I don't do it anymore. I want them all out of the same lotment. You ever been looked at a house and look up there and some of the shingles ma uh, don't match? We have a we have a clubhouse here, guys, because I'm on a community golf course. Our subdivision has a golf course, okay? We have a swimming pool and stuff like that up there, all right? The roof... When you get toward the top, I think it's desert tan, maybe, something like that. But anyway, it changes colors. You can see the difference in the shingles. Why? They all didn't come to the same lot. It's hard to make everything perfect, exact the same every time. When I put these drops in there like that, it's hard to make it the same every time. All right, guys, here's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to move you all over here so you can watch me shoot. Okay, bam, let's get this shot. See how this goes. Everything is cold. I put the I put the molds. This is the fall, guys. I put the molds uh, on the uh, griddle. I got a griddle. Man, over here on the table behind me, and I put the molds on the griddle. Now make sure you tap them off, and that thing keeps sucking down. All right, done okay. Okay. I lay my gun right there. I got a fan to y'all's right. Don't look now. And. Uh, The fan will help cool my my injector so it cools. Now, guys, somebody asked me in a video, so I'm gonna answer this answer online. And I get questions sometimes. I try to answer. It's hard to answer sometimes in by typing it in exactly what you want to say. It takes forever if you do. Anyway, all these molds came from Jacob's tackle. All right, Jacob's molds. I'm sorry, Jacob's molds. And you can look him up. He's on the internet. These injectors came from there. Now, somebody said they was something for an injector like this. They came from there. And I went and looked. Somebody asked me how long they were. They're, they're like 10, 10 inches long, okay? The ones he has now are nine, eight or nine inches long, but they're bigger around. I went on and looked. He changed them a little bit. And he probably had a reason to. Maybe he had a hard time getting this tube. He's got to buy this in a tube, right? Maybe he can't get that size no more. I don't know. He's a machinist. He, I'm sure he had a reason. But, uh... He makes all this stuff. He's got. He's even got machines uh, that you can uh, professional machines like five thousand dollars. It's yeah. You can set up the plastic in them. Shoot a bunch of stuff. He's got injectors. He's got all the parts. He's got like thirty molds, different molds. Now uh, I don't remember if he sells glitter or stuff. I get asked that all the time too. Glurecraft has all that stuff. They have the plastic. They have the glitter. They have molds too. They have injectors. 
They have all that stuff. Barlow's Tackle has all that stuff. And Dead On Plastic. I get my plastic from Dead On Plastic because I buy five gallons at a time. And uh, I order from them. And they have glitter. And they have coloring. They have coloring. This is their coloring. All right, and I have some of their coloring. I have never bought their glitter. Actually, they just started carrying glitter about two months ago. I've seen it on uh, another channel. All right. Let these cool and we're going to open them. Bam! Are y'all ready? Let's see if you're ready. Let me unlock it there. Yeah, somebody even commented on the air vice. Said they like to have air vice. The air vice, guys, is not that expensive. Well, it is not much to it, but for what I... Uh, Lurecraft has and you go in there and look. If you're a part-timer just doing it for your own baits, you don't need one. I've done this for a, a long time. Okay? By using clamps. Aren't they pretty? All right. That's a that's a nice looking. Y'all going like, Dennis, why are you squeezing them? I, I squeeze them all. <laughs> when I pull these off, guys, I grab them right here and I squeeze them. Sometimes you'll get a pocket of air in the nose. These these uh, bugs, these bugs are not bad about that, but uh, Tweety Birds are awful about that. That's why I tapped them off. You see me add more to the top right here. If this spruce shrinks down on you, uh, that's how you get your air. All right. Well, there, guys, there's the bug. You want to see the cricket go fast, real fast? We'll show you the cricket. Okay. There's the cricket. I don't think I've made a port cast with the cricket, but maybe we need to. They all look good. Them little old legs right there, guys, just move in the water like you won't believe. All right, guys, you know the routine. One through 300. Put your number down. Appreciate y'all, guys. Uh, been catching a lot of fish. It's been a good summer. As we're going into fall here, it's even getting better. Okay? Uh, remember, you might not see this video until sometime in November because I'm sandbagging videos so y'all have something to see. It was 43 the last couple of mornings, which I know it's not bad. I don't mind that. It gets up in the 60s, but we're, we're heading to... Uh, December and we get into December January. I never know what the weather's gonna be like so I want to uh, put enough videos up To get me through the cold time so y'all have a video every week on, on Wednesday, at least Wednesdays and Sundays, right? All right guys, appreciate you